Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. In this video I am going to show you how you can keep track of your store. In this way you can later retrieve a certain item no matter where it is located. Let us begin. If you want to know how you can make a store like this, check out my previous video. First I am gonna edit some properties of the parts so we can better differentiate between them. data table to store all the coordinates in name it as you wish by default every column in a table is formatted as string we need to change that to integer first column will keep the name of the part and the next two the x and y coordinates set an attribute of type method to the store. This method will search for the first free place in the store. In order to get the values of the parameters, we need to reference them by using param by ref. to declare some variables that will be equal to x and y. First I am checking if the store is full. If this is the case the method will return false. Else, the method will find the first free place and store the coordinates in the variables I declared. In order to call the store's attribute, we are going to use a method.
This method will get the coordinates from the store's attribute and write them to the data table. <laughs> will be used as an exit control to the source, so every time a part leaves the source, we will write its address in the data table. <laughs> Forgot to update the part names. Easy fix. Every time a part is going to the store, the first free place will be written in our data table. So whenever you need that part, just look for its coordinates and receive it. Thank you for watching.